Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrizia and I've been reselling since about 2017. I've spent hours on Yeezy splash pages, on Supreme lineups and on entering raffles. So let me quickly explain what hype reselling is, what I do and how I got there. So hype reselling is basically buying items for retail price such as this Supreme bandana box logo hoodie for the £158 and then selling it for the market price which is around £476 at the moment. That leaves you with £318 profit excluding the fees and that's all because demand is higher than supply that's how you make money from reselling and, and that's done across many many different brands that have released limited items such as supreme nike off-white yeezys and so on so in this video i'm going to be sharing some of my experiences in reselling what it's like to be a girl in this industry and how much you can make on december the 16th 2017 to be exact my boyfriend woke me up at around seven o'clock and just told me to go on the Yeezy splash page. Back then I've tried to cop a few Supreme items before but that was all for him so I kind of knew what this is all about but I really wasn't into it and I didn't understand it much. I knew what Yeezys were, I knew that they were very expensive and difficult to get but that was the day I realised that they're actually £169.99 so £170 basically. Now they moved it up to 180 the 350 V2 boosts but the retail price of them is actually reasonable. So I was pretty shook finding out how much they actually were if you managed to cop them on the Adidas website when they first come out. So we just sat for about two to three hours just chilling, waiting for the splash page. When I suddenly got into the You're Nearly There page, now if you've been on there, you know what I mean. And I basically managed to buy a pair. That was on the blue tint drop. I don't remember the exact size I got, I think eight or nine. But a bit later my boyfriend also got two pairs so in total we had three pairs arrive and I remember about a week later I sold it to somebody from my school for I think £280 so that's £110 in my pocket. No shipping fees, no selling fees. I was like wow that's a very easy to make money. So I got more and more into it and ever since then I've been basically reselling so blue tints were my very very first item that I got my hands on myself and sold myself so for about 2-3 hours of work I managed to make over £100. It's pretty good. A little bit later a company called StockX came in and we've made over £6,000 in sales on there. That's excluding eBay and just in-hand sales, so it's pretty good. My biggest success was probably winning the Dan Arshams on the raffle and I had to go in the store and collect them in London. I sold them a few days later for £1,100 to somebody on eBay. That was my first ever success that required me to travel to London and pick them up from the store, which actually just turned out into a very nice day out. So again, I'm not complaining. This, what you call work, is is very enjoyable to do. I also remember, and I do this till this day, every time I go out to bigger cities or just travel abroad, I've got into a habit of looking down at people's shoes and what shoes they're wearing. I know that's really, really weird. But I'll be walking and I'll be like, oh, that's those Yeezys. Oh, that's those off whites. I don't know why, it's just literally, as I said, a habit that I've developed. It's quite funny and weird. And I think that's because a lot of the sneakers actually look so much better in hand so when you see them in real life compared to just online pictures I think that's why I get very excited every time I see them. Now on the topic of being a girl in the industry I'd say it's more than the male obviously I think the market is pretty dominated by guys but that actually kind of brings me an advantage because you get treated so much nice in supreme stores and you can get away with buying smaller sizes which usually tend to resell for much much better as they're more limited so my first ever ever supreme in-store success was actually not too long ago about seven months ago was the lacoste supreme collab and i tried to sign up in store and i succeeded i got 160 second in line which is not too bad considering there's about over 500 people who signed up so we went to london again and stood in line for about two to three hours they make you stand in like multiple lines before you can actually get to the line in the store and everyone's got 
got like their designated number so you can't just come in and push in or whatever. There's like security everywhere and that day I managed to buy three items and again it just turned out into like a very nice day out in London while technically working so yeah I find it quite fun and I remember a fight happened there outside the store so you're not actually allowed to resell or even mention the word itself to be honest you can get kicked out of the store but somebody got too brave and tried it and I think the police just came and separated them I don't really remember I was quite far behind in line but yeah so stuff like that happens as well I also attended sneak con this year in London in October which was just basically an event where loads of sellers buyers traders companies came together there was like game surprises and you could just sell your items buy items it was really interesting and one thing that actually really shocked me is how many young kids there are doing the same reselling buying and they're literally some of them look like they're like six seven years old but in my opinion I think it's better that they're doing that and making money rather than doing drugs somewhere else I don't know so basically just to summarize this video I'm really grateful and happy that I'm, I get opportunities like that and to be honest you can do exactly the same there's so many information on how to resell how to start and this was just my experience and my story that I wanted to share with you and there's this debate going on like whether it's a trend or not like whether it will die out one day but I think some of the OG resellers sellers have actually noticed that more and more people are joining so it is becoming more competitive and harder to get into just because there's so many people now but it's really not hard work just trying you know entering those raffles or trying to get the Yeezys yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new here and like this video if you enjoyed listening to me and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next bye